Hi, I'm Dave Rines. I'm twice baked in Washington. And this is the Wink and Weed. For June 30th, 2015, we are here at the MJHQ. Uh, gosh, it's been a busy week. It's been a busy month. This it has. Month. June was a busy month. Yeah, I'm thinking, you know, we had things like CanaCon, which was huge. We had the job Spokane fair. Job Fair. We had... Uh, All the meetups. We had the potluck... Uh, oh, the potluck party. Party Barbecue. picnic here in, uh, in Seattle. And then last night, yesterday afternoon, rather, we had uh, the I-502 Compliant Banking and uh, Merchant Services Seminar at the Red Lion Hotel in Bellevue. It was unbelievable. Awesome. Uh, we had a great uh, turnout and really a, an unparalleled uh, uh, panel of, of uh, participants that included the Department of Financial Institutions, the DFI that regulates banks and uh, and uh, credit unions here in Washington. We had uh, the uh, examiner who oversaw the um, marijuana business telling us what they were looking for. We had uh, uh, one of the senior executives from Timberland Bank was there uh, talking about uh, loaning, uh, not loaning, nobody's loaning, yeah, but establishing loaning. Uh, deposit accounts for uh, licensed cannabis industries. We had the Liquor Control Board, soon to be the Liquor and, and Cannabis Board, board uh, there representing they're the uh, regulatory department that oversees uh, legal marijuana here in the state and uh, and we so, had participants from uh, technology companies pay quick uh, we had Ken Burke and uh, Keith Marks there from PayQuick, and they sponsored it and we had the professor of law at Seattle University also a licensee uh, of a retailer, uh, a retail store called Buddies here in South Renton, and, uh, and, and one of our friends, and uh, also a Foundry Law member who was a sponsor as well, uh, Miles Kahn. So we had a Excellent. great group of folks What was your out. big takeaway from that? Well, the takeaway is that uh, there is a normalization uh, still to occur that uh, while there are a few brave banks like Timberland, they're finally able to stand up. And while we have support, uh, at least, uh, you know, uh, tangentially from uh, the DFI and from uh, from the Liquor Control Board, we still need federal reform before we can have full banking. Uh, and we need, in the interim, a private investment uh, to uh, fund the uh, the growth of the industry. Good to know. Yeah. 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 So also October 1st. No, or, July 1st. Uh, July. I don't know why I said October. <laughs> I'm having a brain spasm. But uh, July 1st, we are going to have the first service of... Uh, the first church of cannabis. Church of cannabis down in Indiana with Back uh, in Bill Indianapolis. Yeah, so Bill. So I've got one of his dolls. This is from a previous. I don't know if you can see this in the. Uh, Those are awesome. Camera. It's like a but little bobblehead, isn't it? Yeah, and it says "One Love, Proud Hoosier." So I'm a proud Hoosier as well. Uh, shout out cannabis. Good for our people. Good for our state. So Bill's been a long time activist. He's taking it to. Uh, uh, to the culture, so we'll see what happens. He may or may not smoke pot, to well, pardon, depending on. I've been uh, watching this online. What's going on? And like the people that he made an announcement yesterday that you know they're not going to have cannabis at the first service, and like people were not impressed with that at all. Well, you know? yeah. So he's you know he's trying to uh, maintain his liberty. So we'll see whether or not he does. The uh, uh -huh. the prosecutor there in uh, Indiana in yeah. Indianapolis has come out forcibly and said that he would make arrests. So we'll see what. happens. Happens. See what happens. Uh, stay tuned. Tomorrow okay. is a big day. And then, what's going on in Oregon on October? Oregon. Or, or, uh, it's July. legal. July. Why do I keep saying October? First legal weed in Oregon is July 1st. That's tomorrow. That's so, tomorrow. So what so, happens, do you so think? So, I believe you're able to grow weed. That's right. Right? You're able to... If you're to, an adult, 21 plus, you can have, uh, I think, up to four plants. Uh, yep, four plants. Right? And I believe, how much can you have on, on, on you? Is well, I think at any point you can have one ounce mm -hmm. uh, as you walk around and maybe up to eight ounces per household. That's right. Uh, and uh, and so there is a household limit, I think, of I'm just excited that pound, like so now crazy. two states are in line on the West Coast. So you've got Washington, totally uh, you if have Oregon, you also legal. have Alaska. So uh, we're hoping that in 2016 we get California and we do the complete West Coast. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's very exciting. 
Uh, it is exciting. Yeah, we want to give a shout out too to uh, to all of our gay friends out there to celebrate uh, marriage equality, which passed here mm -hmm. uh, in every state thanks to the Supreme Court. So that's really a great day Significant. too. Significant. And we think you know cannabis and and uh, and uh, and the gay movement have evolved along parallel paths, and certainly they're linked. And it's kind of an evolution of of society and a and a uh, maturation of American culture, if you will, that we realize. Uh, it takes a diversity and that pot smokers or uh, gays are just among us like you and us and that we're all just part of one great uh, quilted, crazy quilted fabric of, of, of America. So uh, it's a great day. Yeah. So it's been fun. We're coming up on July 4th as well. July. Yeah. What, what happens on July 4th for you? Well, July 4th here at the MJBA, we will uh, we'll probably spark up a couple of uh, colorful uh, logs uh, <laughs> to celebrate in kind. Uh, and maybe we'll go to Lake Washington. But we're just going to hang low yeah. uh, here, I think. How about you? Uh, probably watch some fireworks and crash some barbecues. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'll take a little break because July is a big month, and we'll yeah. tell you all about that. We've got the uh, creative uh, uh, conference down, the Canvas Creative Conference, mm -hmm. CCC. See, as they're calling it on uh, July 29th we're going to be doing that we've got our meetups starting again uh, in Spokane and then Seattle and then uh, 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 we'll be in Denver on, on the 8th Portland at the end of the month <laughs> Wow. Uh, so yeah so we're, we're doing our big travel again we'll do the big cycle but you know we wanted to pause really to reflect on what a wonderful uh, seminar we had yesterday and uh, and really looking forward to uh, to our little holiday. So from all of us to all of you, uh, we wish you a safe and peaceful holiday full of uh, love and cannabis. Peace. Cheers.